Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. And I say I don't know. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. welcome. If this is not your first time, you're coming back for a second helping. Well, saddle up, girl. We got some makeup to play with today. If for some reason you stumbled upon this video and you don't like me, you don't like what I'm doing, you don't like what I'm about, whatever. I don't know why you're so worried about me, but you should be worried about why you're worried about me. Okay. Okay. Is that close? No. Today we are testing out uh, a full face of Maybelline. New York products and they are all super affordable and they led us to this look right here um, but the journey there wasn't exactly well you're gonna find out and now without further ado let's jump on in <laughs> don't have a primer today, but we are going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And this is in the shade Fair Slash Ivory, number 105. Yeah, bitch. Sorry, due to my horrible complexion right now, I wanted to make sure that those just got covered up. ASAP, Rocky! All right, now, something I haven't actually tried is the Maybelline New York um, Concealer. And this is in the shade 5 Ivory. And it is looking super light. But um, there's one way to find out. Okay, right off the bat, well, I mean, first of all, this is super tiny, but it's super thin, almost like a runny consistency, but it's not running. Damn, this applicator is, like, not, not the mood. Okay, um... I mean, it definitely lightened it. I don't know, let's keep blending. Okay, so the concealer sheared out a little bit more than I would like, but it feels really good. Pretty breathable, lightweight. Doesn't smell weird or bad or anything like that. Um, I don't know that the applicator still, and just like, I don't know, you don't really get much product in there, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll save thoughts till the end. Let's get some powder on this face and set it in place. Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade 05. Fair? Ooh. Here we go. 
this powder is actually the reason that I tried the foundation in the first place. My friend Bailey Jones, shout out to you girl, um, turned me on to the powder and it made me snatched to the girds, herb. Would somebody please leave me in the comments just to quit being a cheapskate and go buy another thing of powder? This is good. So that is the texture of the skin with it laid there. But let's continue on to our first, or oh, I guess second, because I didn't try the concealer before. So our second first impression is, is the City Bronzer, and it is in the shade 300. I think that's. Doesn't smell like anything, which is okay. And I'm just gonna take a bronzing brush, a flat fluffy brush, dip into there. Let's see how she does. Moment of truth. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we'll have to blend it out. I'm just gonna tap off. Well, it might be just a tad bit dark for me, <laughs> anyway. But, let's keep on going. Don't know how I feel about this one. Don't know how I feel about that one. Okay. Let's do some brows, huh? And this is the Maybelline 24 hour tattoo studio brows. Mm -hmm. Now I have been dying to try pomade because oddly enough. I have not done it yet. Oh, oh, it comes with a little brush. That's cute. And this is in the shade Brown Pomade. Original. Let's pray. She's a little wanky. All right, well, the second one went on a little bit better than the first, in my opinion, but they turned out pretty good. First experience using the pomade, and it is decent. We'll see how it lasts. I'm kind of like, what about Tattoo Studio? It says it's 24 hours. It says it lasts 24 hours. We will see. We will see about that. And you best know I'm a little bit now. Okay. And now, another product that I have used before and actually used it to filth, I f love this highlighter. Um, as far as drugstore highlighters go, this is... This is the tea set. Pour yourself a cup. And it is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. Now this is the shade Rose Gold. Oh. My. God. Becky. Whew, okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of setting spray on a flat fluffy blending brush. I'm using the JH32. I bet you better work. Can we even? My goodness. <sighs> 
Do you see why I love that highlighter? It's probably my favorite drugstore highlighter. I just got this Milani one, actually, but that's going to be coming in another video, so I'm waiting to try that out, but I'm super excited to see how that is. Um, I think that brings us to eyeshadow. <laughs> And today, in uh, the spirit of summer, I picked up the Maybelline Soda Pop Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this, it has 10, sh nope, 12 shades in it. Stunning! But let's see how they do. I just want to, I've just got to, I'm sorry, some of these metallics. This is Cherry Cola. Blue Raspberry. Great Pop, Crushing, mm, Soda, Fizz, oh my goodness, Sugar High, mm. And then we just got some darker matte shades and this uh, this transition color and this white glitter there. So yes, let's get to the eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, what do do for me? All right, so we're gonna start by taking a blending brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here, Ginger Ale, this transition-y shade. All right. I'm noticing that there's a little bit of kickback there, but that's kind of standard. Hold on. There's no eye primer, so let's go ahead and prime the eyes with just a little bit more of that concealer. The one that has the applicator that's about the size of, I was going to say an eyelid, but it's way tinier than an eyelid. Whew. All right. Eyes are primed. Now, going in with that. Ginger rail color. Why aren't you understanding? Alright, so now that we have that laid, we are going to go in with a small blending brush. This is the JH40, and I'm going to take the shade Cherry Pop, which is this matte purple shade right there, and I'm gonna go into the crease. Now, I didn't go in as hard into the pan with this one as I did the other one, um, but it seems to be blending out really nicely, especially for a matte shade, especially for a purple matte shade, both of which are kind of difficult to get the formulation right in order to get it to be nice like this. All right, so now I'm going to take a flat Pekka brush. This is the JH41, and I'm going to spritz it with a little setting spray. And then I'm going to go into this shade, Cherry Cola, right here, this shimmery shade. And we're gonna go all over that way. I am going to leave just a little space right in this area here because we're going to go in with the purple shimmer to kind of tie it together. Okay, Miss Alice. Yeah. Alright, now I'm going to flip this brush and use the other side. Actually, no, we'll use that same side and go into the Grape Pop, this shimmery purple shade, and combine those two colors there with that one in the middle. That purple shade is pigmented hooner. All right, I'm gonna take just a little bit of that cherry soda again and kind of get a better fade between those two there. All 
All right, now we're gonna go in and take a little bit of the shade Sugar High right here and go right into this inner corner here. I'm gonna take a JH42, which is just a little fluffy packer brush like that and go into the shade Tonic. Pop it right on the inner corner. All right, and now I'm going to go in with Cherry on top, this matte purple shade again, and just dust this underneath the lower lash line. Kind of keeping it tight and also just working the outside. Now we're going to move on to some mascara because I'm not a fan of using eyeliner a whole lot because I like to let that lid color shine, baby. I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffy blending brush and just go along the outside a little bit. All right, and now today I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Looks like this. And we're going to see how she does. Okay. Liking the applicator. Liking the applicator. All right, well, the consistency was a little goopy. I liked the applicator, but it seemed like my lashes were like really, like when I would take the wand away, they were kind of, I don't know, it was kind of hard to work with a little bit. But I like the look of it. Everything looks super pretty. And for lips, to pull it all together, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I use this all the time. This is the shade Driver. I usually use a shade that's a little bit lighter than this, but I was out, so today we're using Driver. Let's do it. I love this formula. It almost feels like, um, like a mousse whipped topping going on but it dries down really nice and it's not sticky throughout the day um, as long as you reapply it I mean like after like five hours it's gonna get gross but what I mean like it's a good formula for eight dollars all right so this is the completed look um, I think it turned out really good I went a little bit heavy on the bronzer overall i wasn't like the biggest fan okay so what did we like what didn't we like the foundation the setting powder perfection as far as a drugstore foundation goes and a drugstore setting powder these are primo most highly recommend the concealer it was decent but i don't like the applicator and like it just takes too long to apply it the formula is too uh, sheer to not have to use like a decent amount to be able to get the payoff that you want um, and so it just kind of takes a little bit too long I'm used to shape tape which has a way bigger applicator let me get that here this is what we got going on there. As you can see, the sizes are way different. And also the shape tape is more full coverage, so you don't have to use as much. So those two things factor into why the concealer was not my favorite. The bronzer, it was all right. I went in a little heavy handed and I think I got a shade that was just a little bit too dark. So 
all things considered, I'm not mad about it. I will probably use this again. The highlighter. Love, love, love. Have loved these for quite some time. I mean, for seven or eight bucks for, I mean, I mean, I would definitely recommend that. The eyeshadow palette. Pleasant surprise. I did not expect these shadows to blend as well as they did and also be as pigmented as they were, especially like I said for purples in general, but then the purple matte shade, which is kind of like double whammy as far as that goes. Um, and for $10, I mean, you could get a lot of different looks out of this color story here. So again, like definitely recommend. And the mascara, like I said, it was a little bit goopy. I don't know if that's just, I've had this one for a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how long, so that may play a part into it. Um, as far as the effect, I really enjoyed it and the applicator was good. So I don't know, I'll give this another one a shot. I mean, this is probably like five or six bucks, so you're not really losing a whole lot of money if you uh, buy it and you don't like it, but I would, recommend giving it a try, especially if you like full lashes. If you don't like full lashes, get out of here. Last but not least, the Superstay Matte Ink um, Liquid Lipstick, and love it. Love it. You see that? Nothing. Love it. And they have so many different shades. I have a lot of the nudes, but they also have lots of different shades. I think they actually came out with some neon shades, if I am not mistaken. So, if you're into that. Yeah, so overall, Maybelline, good company in my book. Um, I've used a lot of their products, like, once or twice here or there or whatnot um, throughout the years. And they've never really disappointed, but I've never bought, like, a full face like this. So, affordable, decent makeup. Maybe New York. That's where you want to go. It was fun hanging out with you today, testing all these products. Um, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, you can follow me on social media. All my links will be down below. Um, and I think that is it. All right. Well. Then I guess I'll see you on the next one, and until then, stay inspired, and you'll find what you're looking for. Thanks for checking out my content here on YouTube. If it brought value to your life in any way, please subscribe so that you'll be notified when I upload more. Until next time, stay inspired, and you'll find what you're looking for.